Hey guys, we're at the Aria pool area. It's the 26th of December and this pool area is actually open, which is very nice. So some of you guys say, oh, you know, which pools are open in winter in Vegas? Many of them are, especially in the high-end hotels. And there is absolutely no reason for the pools to be closed because in the day, like today, it's very warm. You could easily sunbathe. It's really warm. Now, this is one of the areas, uh, of the pool areas. It's the only one open right now. Um, there are tons of family. Uh, 26th of December, many, many, many families, but of course nowhere near as many as there would be if it were, not, nowhere near as many people as there would be if it were, say, spring or summer. But I want you to take a look at how the, it's really nice, it's green, um, there's a lot of foliage everywhere, very classy. And then I want to show the other pool areas too. This is the bar of the area, the pool bar. It's very nice and slick and modern. Now the next pool area is closed. It's really beautiful, it looks bigger. I actually kind of like the pools when they're closed. <laughs> I'd like to be the only ones there, the only one there. Um, you can kind of peek through it. Again, it's really the same, only perhaps a little less narrow. So you will see some gates because some of these areas, two of these pool areas are closed. But hopefully you can get an idea. It's really a nice environment in that you can walk around. And right now, don't be fooled, it gets a lot busier than this. So it feels like you can walk around and almost have your little piece of paradise. But in uh, spring and the summer, it's way busier. So if you want a relatively peaceful pool, you have to come in low season. And as I said, in winter, it's, it's absolutely, one pool is absolutely open. So you don't have to worry about that, unless, of course, it rains. But they do close at four because obviously in winter it gets dark a lot sooner, a lot earlier. So this is the other pool, which is more or less the same size as the one that's actually open. That one over there looked a little bigger. Now you've got cute, classy, well, classy rather than cute, waterfalls everywhere. It's really classy, it's really nice. I still have a soft spot for Mirage Pool because of the amazing, the amazing waterfall. I think the only thing that's missing is a waterfall, or waterfalls rather. But I actually like it, it's one of my favorite pools. I think I've spoken to a lot of people, they all seem to agree. And there are some occasional waterfalls like these, but not obviously in an area that you can sit by. I actually like to sit by the waterfalls and, and enjoy the um, sensation that sitting by a waterfall gives you. But you don't get that here. But it's nice, the customer service is really nice. I mean, you, if you want to check in, if, you, if you're thinking of coming to Aria, you might want to read uh, our page on, on Aria in terms of room service and so forth. There are a couple of issues with the rooms and we do have a video showing them, but then uh, staying there, we notice other issues that I did not mention on the video, although uh, in the uh, comments at the bottom I do mention it. But otherwise you can just go to top-buffet.com and read our updated page on Aria there. You can also go to top-buffet.com uh, to um, read about which other pools in Vegas are as great as this. And uh, you can kind of fact check your own personal taste with uh, what various Vegas resorts have to offer and then decide where to go and how to go there for free or how to go there for a very small amount of money. Okay guys, hopefully this has been useful. See you on top-buffet.com. Bye-bye.